Uncle Steph questions, number three, number three. So what is your opinion for a beginner trying to break into tech cloud engineer, AWS, Azure versus WordPress, Shopify, PHP, or other stack? So the cloud engineer and the AWS engineer is far more glamorous, that's for sure. But the probability of you landing uh, a WordPress, Shopify, PHP job is far more likely, especially your first job. You see, a beginner has to expect beginner roles and beginner level salaries. As a beginner, your main concern is about getting a job, any job where you're actually doing development. If you want to become a developer, you want to get a job as a developer, not as a call support guy. You only do that because you need the money, but it's not going to help you get a job as a developer unless you're working at a company where they look at their tech support people as potential prospects to get into the development end of things. You can ask them that, by the way. Start making contacts. You can't underestimate the importance of making contacts in the world. You have to market yourself. It's always been that way. Uh, there are ebbs and flows and things. Yes, you know, a few years back when the demand was crazy because of COVID and stuff, yeah, you could walk in with very little skill and get a job because you were desperate. Today, you have to show a little bit more. So... Um, cloud engineer, AWS, Azure versus WordPress, Shopify, PHP. Some people may say, well, you're going to make much more money as AWS, Azure dev or a cloud engineer, potentially. But if you know what you're doing with WordPress, PHP, Shopify, you can make a lot of money there. It all comes down to your level of skill. It's, um, let's make an analogy. If you're a beginner musician, whether you're playing guitar, or piano, or drums, or whatever. If you're a beginner, you're going to sound like a beginner. Not too good. But if you're a pro musician, you'll be able to tackle a lot of instruments and play at a pro level very, very quickly, and you'll shine as a pro. Same thing with your coding and development skills, your engineering skills. If you are a beginner, whether you're doing cloud engineering or WordPress, you're going to get the beginner salary. That's it. Now, one other thing about uh, the cloud engineer, AWS, Azure cloud engineer, I would imagine there are stricter requirements because those type of jobs, I would guess, well, I'm sure they would require some sort of certification or a degree, although it's not my, uh, it's not my thing. I'm not cloud engineer. Uh, whereas with WordPress, Shopify, PHP, because the demand is so huge, just look up how many sites run WordPress out there. How many sites run PHP? Uh, you're going to be uh, flabbergasted at how many are out there are on these technologies, much more than people on AWS and Azure. People on AWS and Azure are either uh, well-established businesses, medium to large, or startups that are funded. And whenever you have that type of environment, that type of organization, um, there's going to be certifications required. There's going to be more barriers to entry. And with that, Maybe the entry-level positions as cloud engineer are going to be higher paid than the entry-level position for somebody who's just putting people's WordPress sites up. But again, once you get good with WordPress and PHP and Shopify and you're super efficient, or you're making 200 300 an hour or more because you know what you're doing as a freelancer, for example, then you could be in a good position. So there you go. At the end of the day, there's pros and cons to everything. Whether you want to be a cloud engineer or a WordPress PHP developer, implementer, um, look at the lifestyle. Look at the type of places you're going to be working at. If you're more inclined to be freelance, you like the idea of being a freelancer, you, like, you know you, can, you have the discipline to work and to manage your own finances and so on, then I would say do the, the WordPress Shopify PHP uh, aspect. On the other hand, if you, you want to get certifications and go to school or you want to work at uh, or larger organizations with, with uh, structures and bureaucracies that appeals to you, then maybe cloud engineer. Bottom line is you can't lose either way. The more you learn, the more you earn, as they say. So even if you start out as cloud engineer and you do that for a few years and you decide on the side that you want to get into freelance PHP, WordPress, Laravel development or whatever, JavaScript and Angular development or whatever, that's all cool. It all flows into the same pile of skills. I'm Uncle Steph. I hope you found this useful. 
Thank you.